Good afternoon. Today should be May the uh, 14th, 2020. And this is the next to last video lecture in our uh, course of remote learning, 11th and 12th grade English, uh, presented to you by the Grace Christian Academy television channel, or video, YouTube channel, I suppose, is what we call it. Uh, as I said, this is the next to last of these video lectures. Uh, you should be watching this on Thursday, May 20th, and uh, today is also the deadline for you to turn in your uh, final uh, end of course essay, and it is also the deadline for you to submit the uh, answer to the question I ask you for five points worth of extra credit. Uh, one of you has answered that um, and received the five points extra credit. Uh, the rest of you uh, uh, have until the end of the business day, 5 p.m. on Thursday, uh, May the 14th to do that. Uh, there's very little for me to say to you at this point. Uh, your, your work, uh, whatever it is you have chosen to do, will pretty well be done. And it will just be up to me to grade it and uh, uh, return it to you. Um, so, so there's not a whole lot for me to be talking to you about. I am going to uh, discuss an assignment with you, uh, which I'm going to post, and which will be due on uh, next Thursday, May the 21st. I'm also going to discuss a uh, social event that we are going to have, and this will be a real, genuine, true-to-life, face-to-face, person-to-person gathering, uh, which will be held on May 21st at uh, 1 p.m., the time that we would normally be wrapping up our end of the year. I'll give you the location and uh, uh, what you need to do for that um, so that we can observe the end of the year in an appropriate fashion. I know that uh, uh, this, uh, this remote learning experience has been uh, trying for you and uh, uh, for everyone else. Uh, but I, I hope that you will be able to join us for a, uh, a, a brief time of uh, greeting and uh, saying farewell to one another, if not goodbye, in some cases. So uh, uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, first of all, here is an assignment. This will be due at this gathering at 1 p.m. May the 21st, 2020. Uh, you're going to write an essay, uh, no more than five paragraphs at the most, and submit it to me. Uh, in fact, you're going to read it aloud at... Uh, at our, our end of the year gathering. And the, uh, the essay prompt is this. Um, let me back up. Uh, you will remember that earlier in the year I asked you several questions about reading and about books. Uh, one of them I asked was whether you think reading good books will make a person a better person. Uh, the other one was, do you think there are any kind of objective standards 
to determine whether a book is a good book or a not so good book or a bad book or whether the goodness or badness of a book is entirely a matter of the personal preference of the reader. We, we talked about that uh, and we discussed it. Well, uh, I'm going to ask you another question. You will also remember that, that we started the year with me asking you to tell me what was the worst book you read the previous year, the one you disliked the most and explain to me why you disliked it. Well, here is your essay prompt for this, and I want to hear what you have to say about this. As I said, no more than five paragraphs. Uh, describe what would make a book, or a short story, or a poem, or an essay like Self-Reliance, or a sermon like Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God or Christian Charity, what would make any kind of literary composition worth reading twice? Tell me that. After you've read a book or a poem or whatever, tell me what might make it worth reading twice. Uh, if you choose to give examples, you can. Uh, both of, of things that are worth reading twice and things that you think are not worth reading twice. Uh, but as I've told you before, there are not right answers, there are not wrong answers, there are good and bad answers. And I want to see why you think certain qualities or characteristics might make a book worth reading twice or not worth reading twice. Um, Let me hear from you. I, I look forward to hearing that, hearing you read that uh, on May the 21st at uh, 1 p.m. So, and I'll give you the location later. So, that's, that's your assignment. Um, if you have watched some of the lectures that have been posted, uh, you might have some ideas of what I think about some of those, uh, about your essay topic, uh, and, and what my ideas might be about what makes a thing worth reading twice, uh, or for that matter, might make it, uh, let you know what I think might make something worth reading once. Um, so that's, uh, that's it. I am uh, looking forward to reading some of your final essays. Some of you have worked a great deal and uh, I know have put a good bit of effort into it. Others of you, uh, perhaps things come easier for you and we'll see when you turn in your essays, but I look forward to that. Um, I would tell you to call me for help, but uh, by the time you're watching this, it's really too late. Um, if you have any other work that you want to turn in to me for any reason, things you didn't do, um, I need them by 5 p.m. on Sunday, May the 17th, because I have to turn in your grades by uh, Tuesday morning, May the 18th, I guess it is, you know, May the 19th. May the 19th, I have to turn your grades in so that your report cards can be prepared. Uh, I will not be presenting your report cards at our at our little get together. Uh, so uh, 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 that's uh, uh, you won't need to be concerned about that. Um, our little get together will take place in the fellowship hall at the North 7th Street Church of Christ. That's located at, I think it's 2205 North 7th Street in uh, Harlingen. It is, uh, it is on 7th Street between uh, Harlingen High School and Loop 499. Uh, it will be on the uh, west side of the road. Uh, 
uh, it's a very uh, uh, nondescript, modest building. But that's where it will be. And uh, I will be providing lunch for you. So don't eat lunch. Instead, uh, uh, I will provide your lunch. Uh, and I hope you choose to join us at, at that time. Uh, of course, this essay, because I have to have your grades in uh, on, uh, on uh, the 19th of May. Obviously, these essays won't be graded. Uh, I just want to hear from you what you think. And I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, perhaps we might do something else that's a little bit of fun, but at least we'll share a meal and uh, uh, say farewell to one another. Uh, that's all I have to add for right now. There may be a, uh, there will be a short video lecture posted next uh, Monday, May the uh, 18th, for you to watch. Uh, until then, uh, 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 I, I would say keep working, but you should be done. So we'll speak again uh, in a few days. Good afternoon.